Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA. Here at ITW 2017 with my good friend, Andreas Hip. He's the CEO of Catalea. Andreas, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much, Jamie. Pleased to meet you. It's, it's so exciting to have you here, finally, on JSA TV. Yeah. Yeah, like it's, a, it's a long time coming, knowing our 12-plus our year relationship. Yeah. Um, and you've started now Catalea, which is the name of a flower. Yeah. Uh, and so it's a, it's a brand that definitely capitalizes on with your Orchid One is the name of your next-gen session border controller. Yeah, Can you tell right. our viewers a little bit more about that? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, the name Catalea basically comes from um, uh, the flower, an orchid flower, and is the Spanish name for uh, yeah, orchid, a Spanish variant. And uh, initially wanted to call the company Orchid because uh, the headquarters in Singapore, which is the flower of the country. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's about 1,500 companies registered with the name Orchid somehow in there. So it was impossible <laughs> to actually <laughs> create the company name. So we went with Catalia and um, then uh, became quite famous in the Latin American market because of the movie Colombinia. With yeah. that lady who had this necklace with the Catalea flower, right? Yes, that's so it. that's a bit of the <laughs> background it. behind it. And I love, of course, what you're doing, uh, particularly when we're talking fraud protection. Mm. Uh, uh, definitely a topic on the minds of many of us here at ITW. Billions lost per year. Yeah. Um, how, how does Catalea address this problem? Yeah. So fraud uh, was something which we kind of uh, identified. Uh, over the last year, I would say, uh, because in the beginning we kind of built technology very much around the switching functionality, quality of service, quality of experience, particularly for IPX networks. Mm -hmm. And what you do by default is you have deep packet inspection, so you know exactly what's going on. And we spend a lot of effort in analytics and algorithms to analyze behavior and patterns on phone calls. And some of them are clearly indicators that actually fraud is happening. And then, uh, of course, when our customers start to look at what they actually see, they said, well, you know, can you give us more information about certain things? And uh, now with uh, A-numbers booving and SIM card fraud and so on, there's, as you said, billions. It's probably about 40 billion a year. Billion. And this is massive, especially in an industry where the operators, I would say, suffer anyway on voice revenue decline and margin erosion and so forth. So now we have a big initiative. We have some very basic thing which is built in at the moment, but uh, we want to do actually machine learning on artificial intelligence to actually correlate the data. Mm. So you can really, and the important thing is because it sits on the device, it's real time. If you find out that you have been defrauded at the end of the month, it's a bit late. That's right. You actually want to know it now when it happens. So this is where we really focus on, and we have a lot of interest and um, a lot of our meetings actually about this topic to understand exactly what challenges which operators have because they vary from region to region and country to country. Uh, that just blows my mind how you could, you know, know in an instant and uh, country by country and, and uh, the reach that, uh, that you have, it's, uh, it's really quite, quite impressive. Um, knowing you as a serial mm. entrepreneur mm. Um, and uh, getting the opportunity to review your website, I saw a lot of terms here mm. um, when I was reading about how you really, um, you know, need necessitates invention. Mm. Yeah. Um, and when you couldn't find a technology mm. that could deliver this level of visibility and yeah. control, uh, you really, uh, that mm. our, our community, our service providers mm. require, mm. that's why you developed Catalea. Yeah. Can you, uh, can you talk more about absolutely. that? Absolutely. I mean, uh, Epsilon, uh, and you remember from your telex days, right, yeah. uh, was a you know, TDM interconnect shop at the beginning. And um, uh, because it was the only killer application, it was voice, right, in 2000. And and then uh, as we started migrating to IP more and more, we did a lot on the trends uh, on the conversion side, TDM to IP and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then we said, when well, everything is IP, what is the value add, right? There's many IP networks. So we said you have to go up the layers and go up the signaling layer so we understand what's going on. We can provide and manage global service to our customers and give them all sorts of features uh, to differentiate ourselves and stay relevant as a, as a service provider. And uh, then uh, we found that uh, we had a gentleman who joined us. He comes from the tech side. And he was always talking about his vision of the future of SPCs and networking. And then as many things happen over a beer, right? So we started discussing that and said, maybe we should build our own. But of course, not just for internal purposes, right? You can't finance an R&D development for 
your own need. But then we said, okay, but we can also sell it to other operators, right? And uh, and yeah, it was really necessity, and most innovations are driven by that, right? That's right. Big grow progress is always made during wartime, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right actually, yeah, so, you, right? <laughs> so. Yeah. so um, such a visionary. What do you see as uh, coming up next in the year ahead mm. for Catalea and for the industry? Yeah, well, for for the industry, I think um, we talk a lot about innovation and uh, disruption is probably a bit an overused word these days, right? Mm -hmm. And it has a bit of a negative connotation. Mm -hmm. But I think there's, there's certainly innovation required quite a lot, but, uh, but um, I would say you need a bit of a revolution, not just evolution, which usually people like to do because we were too long, too convenient. And then we were kind of hijacked by all sorts of non-market members and uh, and now it's a bit late to react right and everybody's suffering and you will also see that probably that the discussions from the traditional operators are not so happy anymore and uh, and that is really where also operators need to look beyond the traditional services selling point-to-point -point circuits selling voice minutes you know there's more to that right and uh, especially on the fraud side we also think there's a place for wholesalers yes. to actually offer fraud as a managed service to domestic operators because if everybody invests in fraud technology and software, right, there's a lot of spending going on. But between countries and internationally, there could be, instead of just switching minutes or terminating minutes, there could actually be kind of a managed fraud service, right? right. And, uh, you know, you certainly get paid because you help customers save money. Yeah. So yeah. there's a real there's a real financial impact here, right? And I think these are areas, just as an example, to address that, right? And uh, I think that's where we want to go, and I think that's where the market also I mean, if we're able more. to take that 40 billion lost yearly and with share half, half, 20 billion for us and 20 <laughs> for the rest. Win-win. <laughs> Win-win. Happy I'm days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So for our viewers who I'm sure want to learn more, where can they go? Okay. Uh, where can they go? Well, there's obviously our website. And uh, then, you know, a lot of people have my phone number. So, But it's www.catalia.com. And, uh, you know, we look forward to talk to customers and uh, potential clients. And uh, please reach out to us. Catalea.com, uh, certainly a brand to look out for if you haven't seen it yet, <laughs> and uh, a man to watch for sure. Thank you so much for your thank time you and insight, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.